Hi everyone, John Mitchell here, Mayor of New Bedford, and this is another installment of the Mayor's Weekly Update. So the first thing I wanted to talk about today is senior centers. Senior centers, uh, of course, play a vital role in uh, the life of our city, and even though interest in their use has dropped over the years, and we've had to do some consolidating of senior centers, they still are relevant to a lot of people, even in the internet age. So we've had over the years some shifting interests in the programs that are offered. Some uh, seniors have and their families have expressed interest in doing more social daycare um, than in times past, and uh, whereas others still want the traditional uh, services. So what we've announced uh, based on the recommendation of, on the, of the Council on Aging is that we are going to go to a model in which the traditional services are going to be offered out of Buntwood Park at the Warming Center. Uh, it's a great place. It's a very prominent building centrally located in the city in a place that is really well suited to doing both indoor and outdoor uh, activities for our seniors. It's a good place. Uh, and then the social day uh, aspect of uh, what the Council on Aging does will be done at Brooklawn and Hazelwood, the Rosemary Tyranny Community Center. So these are all things that we think will uh, work really well uh, together. And, uh, and, and look, it's, it's, there's, there's been changing practices. Again, preferences have, have shifted more to, to daycare. Uh, some folks have gone to other uh, to, to, uh, to the surrounding towns for some of their activities. And so we want, we're just trying to strike the right balance. We want to make sure that our services are relevant and that they're effective. And so um, you'll see that if you haven't heard about that yet, I wanted to let you know. But uh, again, and we also want your feedback. Our Council on Aging wants, uh, as, as we do in every aspect of city government, to find out what we can do better and, and to continue to improve. So I encourage uh, our seniors and their families uh, to offer that feedback so that we can incorporate it into the programming. The second thing I wanted to talk about today is uh, offshore wind. Uh, there was an announcement by the federal government of the opening of a number of lease areas off of what's in the area that's called the New York Bight, B-I-G-H-T. Uh, it's not a word that I knew before I started uh, working on this stuff, but that's, uh, that's an area of ocean that sort of shaped like a triangle that points right into New York Harbor off the coast of New Jersey and Long Island. Uh, it's an area where there's a lot of wind. Um, and so for the offshore wind industry here, we, we will likely get some of that business, and that's a good thing for New Bedford. The thing that we have to be cautious about is that New Bedford does a lot of fishing in the area, especially for scallops. And so we want to make sure that those wind farms are done the right way. And we've had a lot to say about um, the New York bite and its effect on fishing in the past. The federal government in response has uh, cut back some of the areas where wind farms might go. So we're going to keep, uh, keep engaged on that because, again, our goal is to, is to grow both industries uh, here in New Bedford and not just stand pat. Um, so a lot more to come uh, over the next few years, frankly, in, uh, in that regard. So uh, the last thing I just want to say is on a, on a more fun note, the uh, district-wide art show will be held next Thursday, and uh, I guess that's the, the, the 9th of May, and so that'll, it'll be part of AHA night, but it's, uh, it's up at the uh, Paul Rodericks Administration Building, the school administration, main school administration building on County Street. But I, I mention it because there's so many kids, we have so much talent in our school district, and you, when I've walked through in times past and looked at the work, that adorns the walls of, of the administration building from our own students from very young ages all the way through high school. I've been amazed at the quality of the work. And I just shake my head and I just wonder, well, how, how did they do that? And so I, I encourage you to check it out if you haven't been before. And even if you don't have a kid in the school system, check it out because I think you'll be amazed by it too. So that's next Thursday um, night as part of AHA night. So that's all I have for this week. Uh, we will see you next week. This has been the Mayor's Weekly Update.